as many of you know, Harry Potter could become invisible. And given the extraordinary work of some young scientists, your children or their children might be able one day to pull off that trick as well. CNN's Dan Simon has the story. Dan? Wolf, well, we're on the campus of UC Berkeley, home, of course, to some of the best and brightest minds in the country. A couple of young engineers here have had a significant scientific breakthrough, so significant that what you see in the movies could one day be a reality. Hollywood is quite good at making stuff disappear. Whoa! From Harry Potter to James Bond. We call it The Vanish. The effects keep getting more advanced. Oh, very good. You should really think anything is possible. I mean, but Jason yeah, Valentine isn't talking about the movies. He's a 26-year-old scientist at Berkeley working to make invisibility cloaks possible. I mean, it's cool. It, it, it makes it fun to come to work. He and his colleagues have engineered a microscopic material that can bend light. The stuff called metamaterial is no bigger than a speck of dust. This is what it looks like magnified about 50,000 times. So to cloak something, you have to bend light around it. Uh, it's like a stone sitting in a stream of water. Uh, and so to bend light around the object, you have to make it bend in a way that it doesn't exist in normal materials. The material, of course, would have to be a lot bigger and configured in a way where it could be a cloaking device, say a blanket like in Harry Potter. What is it? It's some kind of cloak. You see this stuff in the movies and... And a lot of it you think, well, that's, that's never really going to be possible. If you're not an engineer, what they say probably will make very little sense. But their breakthrough has the scientific community quite excited. Part of their funding comes from the U.S. military. Making people or things disappear could be quite useful in combat. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're not going to find invisibility cloaks at your local mall anytime soon. We won't see anything, certainly within 10 years. Uh, however, maybe in our lifetime, uh, something will be made that, that resembles maybe something in science fiction movies. If you're a non-believer, consider this. 50 years ago, do you think anyone really conceived of things like iPhones or robots on Mars? Harry Potter special effects? That's an invisibility cloak. Well, maybe one day they won't be so special. Those developing the technology here at Berkeley are hopeful it could have a more immediate impact, perhaps in the field of medicine, this metamaterial, as they call it, could be used in high detail imaging, perhaps where you could see living cells in their natural environment that could offer a huge medical breakthrough. And they're hopeful that technology is only just a few years away. Wolf, back All to right. you. Wow, uh, Dan Simon, thank you.